This video presents our final year project low cost human to human interface device to conduct electromyogram. Being affordable and practical, this device promotes the study of electrophysics. The idea of remote surgery motivated us to develop this device. Now let us have a look at the system design. It involves three stages. The first stage is the signal conditioning stage. The signal is acquired by a passive electrode. Then the weak acquired signal is amplified using instrumentation amplifier. Electromyogram signals has a wide range of frequency but most of the energy is concentrated between 20 to 500 hertz. Therefore, to isolate this band, a band pass filter is designed. Then this signal is passed through a rectifier and then an amplifier and the output is directed to the next stage. The next stage being data processing stage, we store the data and send the data serially to the processing software to plot a graph and also the threshold value is set. If the data is above the threshold value, the next stage is activated or else the process repeats itself till it meets the threshold. The last stage is the signal regenerating stage where the electromyogram signals are generated and induced into the person. It consists of triple five timer IC in a stable multivibrator mode to generate a continuous pulse of required frequency and width. Frequency and width are governed by these equations. Considering the safety measurement of muscles, the amount of maximum current that can be endured is 80 milliamps with the frequency ranging from 2 to 150 hertz and a maximum voltage of 110 volts. The electromyogram signal from person A is transferred to signal conditioning circuit to get conditioned. After that, the signal is passed to data acquisition unit where its value is compared to the threshold value of 500 volts. If it is greater than 500 volts, the signal regenerating unit is activated and the electromyogram signal is transferred to person B. When person A is flexing, the value in the graph is increasing. And when the value crosses the threshold value of 500 volts, the signal regenerating circuit is activated and the electromyogram signal is successfully transferred to person B. Now let's see the demonstration. The design of this system is limited to control a single muscle for now, but in the near future, this device may be used to control a human arm to perform many skilled operations in the real time domain. The same system has to be developed to control all the fingers of the human hand by placing the electrode on specific muscle and stimulating it to control them, allowing us to perform a different motion of the hand. 